Hello, in this video we are going to talk about RSV trends in United States, January 2026. This report provides a comprehensive overview of respiratory syncytial virus, otherwise called RSV landscape as of January 2026, covering the current 2025-2026 season trends, clinical impacts, and the evolving prevention toolkit. As of early January 2026, the RSV season in the Northern Hemisphere is approaching its peak. CDC and global health agencies have characterized this season as moderate but persistent, closely mirroring 2024 and 2025 trends. Surveillance data shows test positivity and hospitalizations began to climb in October 2025 with a national peak in the United States expected in the first two weeks of January 2026. Similar to previous years, the Southeast United States saw early surges, meaning in September and October, while the West and Northeast are currently experiencing the highest volume of cases. While RSVA was dominant in the early 24 season, RSVB has become the more prevalent circulating strain in 2025-2026 winter, a shift that occasionally correlates with higher reinfection rates in older adults. For decades, RSV was viewed primarily as a pediatric concern. However, 2025 data reinforces a bimodal burden of disease. It remains the number one cause of hospitalization for children and their own year old. The burden in adults aged 65 and above is now recognized as comparable to influenza. In fact, 2025 studies indicate in high-income countries, the mortality rate for RSV individuals over 70 has begun to exceed the mortality rate in children under 5. Triple demic, meaning COVID-19 flu and RSV remains a seasonal reality. However, unlike the chaotic off-season surges seen in 2021 and 2022, RSV has largely returned to its traditional winter seasonality between October and March. The clinical burden of RSV is measured not just in acute infection, but in long-term functional decline and chronic respiratory complications. Globally, RSV causes approximately 3.6 million hospitalizations and 100,000 deaths annually in children under 5. Over 97% of these deaths occur in lower and middle-income countries due to limited access to oxygen and supportive care. Beyond the acute phase, RSV is strongly associated with the development of recurrent wheezing and childhood asthma. The recognition of adult RSV burden has surged following 2023-2024 vaccine rollouts. In the U.S. alone, RSV results in 60,000 to 160,000 hospitalizations annually among adults aged 65 and above. Approximately 6,000 to 10,000 deaths occurs annually in this age group. For those hospitalized, the 30-day mortality rate is estimated between 5 and 9%. Morbidity is significantly higher in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, congestive heart failure, and immunocompromised states like transplant recipients and cancer patients. Recent 2025 data confirms that for hospitalized adults over 60, RSV leads to longer hospital stays and a higher likelihood of requiring intensive care compared to, flu compared to influenza, though the two viruses shared similar overall mortality rates. The year 2025 marked a golden era for RSV prevention with high efficacy vaccines and monoclonal antibodies becoming a standard of care. Prevention strategies now focus on protecting the infant through two primary pathways. One is maternal vaccination using abrisvob administered to pregnant people between weeks 32 and 36, 
This transfers antibodies across placenta, protecting the newborn for the first six months of life. Second, long-acting monoclonal antibodies. Bayfortis. A single injection for all infants entering their first RSV season. Real-world data from 2025 shows a yeah, 70 to 80 percent reduction in RSV-related hospitalizations. Clastrovimab. Newly available as of mid-2025, the second long-acting antibody provides an alternative with similar high efficacy and a simplified dosing schedule. As of January 2026, three vaccines are widely used for adults aged 50 and above. ARAXV, manufactured by GSK, the first approved protein-based vaccine. Abrisvo by Pfizer, also used for maternal protection. Yamdrasvia by Moderna, an mRNA-based vaccine approved in 2024, noted for its ease of manufacture and high uptake in 2025. CDC guidelines 2025 update recommend single dose for everyone aged 75 and above and for those 50 to 74 who are at increased risk due to chronic medical conditions. While high-income countries have seen drastic reduction in infants hospitalization, New York reported 76% drop in infant cases during 2024-25 season, global acuity remains a challenge. Research is currently focused on combination vaccines, meaning flu, RSV, and COVID, and expanding infant antibody programs to broader population in low middle income countries. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with others to prevent and protect from RSV disease. Appreciate you all.